when I think about the changes that are going to happen from a healthcare perspective, I think the regional cooperation that's going to be required to ensure that supply chains aren't disrupted is going to be a major aspect of things, right? Some redeployment of capital will happen to localize supply chains, but ultimately you can't rebuild the pharmaceutical supply chain from scratch and governments are going to have to collaborate more. And I think there's going to be really interesting opportunities for the world going forward to see tighter coordination between governments around the world. One of the uh, real accelerations from COVID-19 in a healthcare perspective is going to be very significant investments in basic life science research, expansion of infectious disease capabilities in terms of how to respond from diagnostics to vaccines. I think you're seeing substantial investments around the industry to respond to the pandemic and that will get applied um, going forward to many other challenges that society faces. One of the trends is uh, naturally localization. Companies and countries around the world are looking at what essential services means for them, what the service they require, uh, whether they want localization of these products in the country so they can control the supply chain, their relationship with the other countries that can provide them this type of activities. And actually, the level of collaborations between countries and companies accelerated. Sometimes you do not see it in the news, but behind the scenes, it is absolutely there. The level of collaboration is probably higher than ever. The second thing that we absolutely going to see is the fact that a new way of dealing with patients and servicing the patients are, is now being developed. We need to remember that it's not just about the supply chain of products to the patients eventually, but it's also the ability of the patient to actually get access to that product. For example, if people were locked down and could not go to the pharmacy because the pharmacy is closed or it's dangerous to go to the hospital. Therefore, what you see is all kinds of digital services that are giving either information, access to medicines, or online services that are being developed aside for the product. So we are now seeing that the definition of a product, being a pharmaceutical product, is changing, and it will now contain also what used to be the old definition of product with services, with digital platforms, and other means that will change the way customers are looking to pharmaceuticals in the future.